How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. Hope you guys are doing well today. And uh, yeah, as you can see, boys, we've got Henrik Mikatsari, and he came out this Friday. Uh, that, that's today, and uh, Ansu Fatty came out as well, he's an objective boys. So we're gonna review Mkhitaryan first, and then Ansu Fatty afterwards, once I do get the objective complete, and give you guys the reviews. So if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that type, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new around here. Make sure you hit that like notification bell, just hit the like button boys, and a notification sub button as well to make sure that you're notified of every single review and piece of content we drop from now going forward into FIFA 21. And lads, today, it's been a weird day boys, hope your day's been better than mine. My dog got ill last night, uh, she lost function of her back leg, so she's been in surgery today, she's been uh, under MRI scans. Uh, I was really worried, man. I was really worried, boys. Uh, so I hope your day has went better than mine, but uh, she's out of surgery. Things are looking okay now, and uh, hopefully she'll pull through, man. But uh, today we're going to review Mkhitaryan because the show must go on, of course. Um, and I just wanted to share that with you guys, just in case you're wondering uh, why the reviews are less energetic, less this, less that, less the other. It's because I've had a pretty traumatic day, boys. A pretty traumatic day. But Mkhitaryan... He's going to be playing calm. He's going to be playing calm in a 4 2 3 1. Can he play ramming? Yes, he can. He's very versatile in this game. And he can play in a multitude of different positions. Hell, I, I think this card could even play striker. He's got a five star weak foot, of course. He's got the pace. He's got the shooting. He's got the dribbling to boot as well. He's a very, very good card in this game, is Mikatarian. And he's 93. It's almost like that. Um was it the, the Summer Heat cards that went into Foot Draft? It's also almost like we've just got that in the shape of this Art CTF. It's a live item, of course. And uh, as you can see, boys, he's got high to high work rates. So he's up, he's down, he's all around. He's absolutely everywhere, boys. And he does cover a lot of ground. Five foot ten, but I do believe his jumping isn't that impressive, boys. Yes, it's only 82, so it's not that, that impressive. Um, but it, it, it's doable. You know what I'm saying? It is doable. Uh, high to high work rates. Like I said, he's everywhere, boys. He covers a lot of ground. And that is good for a lot of cards in this game. In Including someone that's wide, Henrik Mkhitaryan, so uh, especially if you play like um, a 4 4 2, right mid, you can attack and defend at the same time. If you're playing calm, you can come back and drop deep with the defense and just burst beyond the striker on the counter attack as well. So uh, it's kind of the best of both worlds when you've got Henrik Mkhitaryan, really. He's right foot primarily, but five star weak foot boys, so is clutch. With uh, Henrik Mkhitaryan on this game, he's also got that five star weak foot, which, like I said, is clutch because give him a chance. Right foot or left foot, it doesn't matter, boys. And he's got four star skills to boot as well. As for the cards and his attribute details, take a gander at some of these. Um, the only one I'll, I'll critique is the strength, 73. Now, I could boost that. A marksman would do that. A marksman would do that. But it wouldn't boost certain attributes I wanted to boost with the card in general. But a marksman could definitely be the best game style for this card. Honestly, I'd say sniper to boost the composure just a little bit or engine. Those are my ideal ones. But if you do want to boost the strength, Marksman will do the job. It's just whether you want to do that or not. He's got 94 acceleration, 93 sprint speed, plus uh, 5 on each of them takes it to 99 and 98 respectively. So he is very, very fast. By the way, lads, it is absolutely sweltering in the UK today. It's, um, it's like 99 degrees Celsius like it is around the world, but no air con. Windows are closed right now. Light is on. I'm sweating, boys. It's very, very hot. Uh, he's got 98 uh, well, I can't see that right. 98 attack and position in a 89 finishing, 99 shot power, which is why I didn't put a sniper on him because that finishing is already good enough. And add that to 99 shot power, lads, he's going to belt it like the best of them on this game. He's got 87 long shots, 93 bullies, and 87 penalties. When it comes to pass, he's got 97 in terms of vision, 91 crossing, 96 short pass, 84 long pass, and 97 when it does come to curve. In terms of dribbling, 90 agility, 94 balance. 89 reactions, not the best, not the greatest, uh, but definitely not the worst. He's got 94 ball control and dribbling uh, with 86 composure. Like I said, you can boost that with a sniper chem style, and that's it. That is it. That's literally the only one you can boost it with. He's got 82 jump and 95 stamina, 73 strength, and 85 aggression. So it doesn't look too shabby in any stretch of the imagination, really. And in terms of traits, he's got flair and he's got team player. I always get confused on team player. Is that whether they take the captain's armband if the captain gets subbed off? Let's see pointless. Uh, Flair's a good one for the contextual touches, and some of the touches I did do with this cards were magnificent. So lads, I see him in action. This is Henrik Mkhitaryan, and he's RTTF. Europa League Road to the Final. RTTF. Lads, I see him in action. Let's get into the clips. So here we go, lads. Action on the screen right now. We're going to have a look at what he's like in the game and just uh, test this card out in general, because... 
My experience of him is that he is versatile, he can play in a multitude of different positions, and he can play it very, very well as well. He receives the pass on the edge of the area here, a lovely left foot strike, it's a great save by the goalkeeper on that occasion. I think that was uh, Adrian? I think it was, anyways. But it was a great save by the keeper on that occasion, as uh, Zlatan tries to dribble past someone, doesn't quite work out. Ronaldo wins the ball back, Ronaldo does very well, plays it into Palacio, Palacio out to Vinicius, and it doesn't really do anything, but... We get a free kick. Just take a gander at his free kick as well. Now his stats is 78 going and 88 with the engine. Lads, this is very close. It's also almost like a knuckleball free kick. It was actually a fantastic effort by Henrik Mkhitaryan. So a free kick isn't even that bad, to be honest. Placed it right, so it had a bit dip. Lance was just doing this. It was swerving like a Cristiano Ronaldo one. But uh, the, one of the good things with his cards is the price. 90,000 coins for a 93 uh, live item. It's a bargain, lads. It's a bargain, in my personal opinion. And on the right-hand side, in the Serie A, who do you have? Berardi Tuts? Is there anybody else? <laughs> Literally, nobody's come to mind, boys. I might have to search that. But there isn't too, too many that uh, are his price and five-star weak foot and stuff like that. So Mkhitaryan is definitely, definitely a viable option for right-handed sided uh, Serie A player in general. The only card I did find with the card was the strength. It's not good. And when it's not good, I'll tell you, it's not good. And it's not good. It's just not good. Now, I could have put a marksman on him. Don't get me wrong, I could have. And I could have experienced him with a marksman just to do that. And we'll do that in the future just to see if it'll boost your strength. But I have my doubts. Normally, if they've got bad strength, it's not going to be improved with his chem style, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but it, it could potentially be uh, that way with Mikatari. And you see a nice little finish there into the back of the net. In terms of pros, pace, movements, stamina, first touch, shot power, five star weak parts. I'd throw in four star skills in there as well, and the passing is very, very good in this card. In terms of movement and pace, now you need um, good movement to go along with pace, because if you're not making a run before the ball comes into you, is this an example of it? Uh, yeah, look, he's, he's making the run off Ronaldo, and then you can run with pace. Lovely little step over there by Mkhitaryan, and a lovely turn inside as well with the four star skills. Ronaldo does very well, plays it back, great first touch, sensational finish, and again, First touch is amongst the pros because it is that good. Sensational first touch on the second Henrik uh, Mkhitaryan cards. And it is very, very noticeable. The pace is noticeable too. Compared to these other cards in this game, uh, the pace is night, day, evening, morning, pie, not pie. You know what I'm saying, lads? It's, 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 it's the buy opposites. And I don't know why I said pie. Um, could mean the 3.14. I, that's as far as I go into the pie equation. I can mean the actual edible pie. Um, you guys make that what you want. But I don't know why I'm going to a pie situation. But uh, lads, his pace is good. His movement's good. His stamina is fantastic. It's 95. He's never going to run out of steam. With high, high work rates, you definitely need that as well. So hot today, boys. Um, he, he's got the first touch of dreams. He's got the shot power of dreams as well. It's 99. So that is very, very good with the card in general. And it's very, very useful as well. In terms of the traits, he's got flair, team player. The best chem style would be engine or sniper, in my personal opinion. If not, and you want to boost that strength, marksman is your man. And in terms of foot champ stage, he would be a starter. Would he be a good sub? Yes, yes. I reckon he could make an impact off the bench as Cristiano Ronaldo does get the ball. Plays it over to Henrik Mkhitaryan. Great run, great finish again. He's honestly, he's finishing that. He's cracked at times. It's all down to one thing. Shot power. Shot power is absolutely, truly tremendous with this car. And you will notice it time after time after time. Overall rating I'm going to give Henrik Mkhitaryan is a 9.6, which for this stage in the game is very, very good. The enjoyment would be a 9.5. Had a lot of enjoyment centrally with his cards. Do I believe he can cut it on the wing? Right mids, left mids, even striking. I, I definitely, definitely too. I reckon this card is very, very versatile. As for the value for coins, 9.8. 90,000 coins. That's a 9.8. That has to be a 9.8. And the meta rating would be a 9.3. I don't reckon he's that meta compared to a lot of different cards in this game. But um, I do believe a 9.3 is very, very fair. The other pros which I was talking about, obviously the five-star weak part is definitely a pro of this card. And his passing is truly tremendous at times as well. You see a pass, you make a pass with Henrik Mkhitaryan. And the best stats, shot power 99, acceleration 94. The worst stats being strength and free kicks are 73 and 78 respectively. Um, lads, this is about it for the review today. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, once again, a like would be very much appreciated from you guys. Been through a day from hell to day with my dog. Honestly, it's... Um, it scared me. It, 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 it scared the hell out of me, boys. Uh, my dog's been with me through thick and thin. It's like, I spoke openly to you guys about depression, stuff like that. It's getting me past depression. I beat depression. I've done this. I've done that. I've done the other. The dog has been a major catalyst in that. And like, just going through the motion, the mindsets of potentially losing that dog. And yeah, it, it hurt, man. It hurts. Uh, hopefully she comes through. Hopefully, um, 
the the vets obviously she's with the hands of the professionals now but uh hopefully she's a battler hopefully she'll come through and um hopefully she'll be all good man i, I really do hope but uh i've been through it today boys so if you could like the video not for sorry or anything like that just if you have enjoyed a like would be appreciated from you guys uh massively appreciated we're at a slow stage of fifa right now which is for everyone um so the views might not be 20 30k or anything like that but uh, I do appreciate each and every single one of you guys. So thank you very much for joining me today. Like the video if you have enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Drop a comment in the comment section below, boys. Why the hell not? But thank you very much for watching. And I will catch you all next time.